today I bought a Salton portable infrared cooktop. Infrared because it's compatible with all kinds of cooking utensils. It says the heat it's uh, 1800 watts, precise temperature control and easy to clean. And it was $69.99. Let's see what's inside here. Jeez, it's too tight for me to do. Got to put my elbow, my uh, knee in the way. Man, really strange. table and that kettle the kettle starts bouncing off the off the stove top. Anyway you can hear that it is starting to boil in there maybe. I think you can hear it. The problem is this is taking about 15 minutes. It's set on high and uh, I guess I could use it if I wasn't in a hurry. Look it's boiling. This is exciting. It's been like 20 minutes to get this thing to boil. I actually didn't even check to see how much water's in it. But it's boiling, I can make my coffee. I have to use this Weirdos Unite cup because I'm too cheap to buy my own so I have to rely on Uncle Uncle Chrome to be giving me gifts. Casper came by with his own coffee. Since I had some water boiling, we were going to have a coffee together. Jasper came over, we made a coffee for two of us. We each had a coffee and we've enjoyed a great conversation. And now we're gonna talk about the difference between propane and electric. Uh, this is infrared, he's got, what do you got? An induction. An induction. And he's got large propane bottles. Yep. And I've got the little green ones like that one. We're ready. We're going to tell you all about propane and electricity and all the options that you might have if you've got a bus or a van or whatever. See, I use these little propane bottles. That's a $70 bottle. How much does it cost to get a new one when you reach? No, this was $40 in the States. Okay, but how do you, when you get another bottle, what does it cost you? Like you traded in? No, so you can get them refilled. Uh, at Costco in Canada, I've paid like $13. And from a gas station, it's 20, about $25 to fill it. To fill that. This costs eight bucks. I could bought two of these today for eight dollars. So I bought like two of these, but I could have had a half of one of that huge tank. Yeah. 
So, <clears throat> but because I paid $8 for these and I saw that Sultan uh, heater or infrared burner, I thought I could, <clears throat> instead of having to buy 10 of these, I might as well just buy that. And that would do all my cooking. And it's got two burners, it's nice, it's nice and clean, it's easier to stow away. And it, like a propane burners, stoves, food walk gets in there and things overboil and stuff. You gotta clean that all up. Whereas this one is really easy to clean up after it. The Sultan is easy to clean up every day. So that's why I liked it. However, I boiled some water and this propane would have boiled it in like three minutes and that took 15. So I don't know that I'm gonna keep that Sultan heater. <coughs> But now I got to decide whether or not I keep this this kind of uh, tank or that kind of tank. I vote this one. Yeah. So why aren't you're not in love with a, this kind of electric stove, are you? No. So um, I'm sponsored by Renergy, and they send me a bunch of uh, panels. I got 300 watts and 400 amp hours of battery. And I thought, hey, you know what? Let's fulfill my millennial, hippie, alternative lifestyle duties and um, cook exclusively on solar. The problem with that is that the sun is only up for half the day. The other half, <laughs> it's dark. He, he lives in Vancouver in the winter and <laughs> I live in California. So we, I get more electricity or more power from solar than he does. But the, the, that's true. But even if I was somewhere that it was sunny, more often with with hotter sun because um, the sunlight here is actually produces less solar even on a hot day than if I were to be in the desert <clears throat> in like Utah because yeah. it, it's, it's a different sunlight or more right so I consume with two fridges that run all night um, and then a fan that runs all night that doesn't take up very much when it comes time to cook my batteries are so depleted so I can I can boil water if my van is running um, and, and that charges through my battery isolator. But every day, oi, every day to cook off of solar, unless you have over a thousand amp hours, Whatever. It, it's, it's, not, it's not practical. Now I could cook my, I could boil my water here and I, I actually have enough power because I run one fridge some of the time. In other words, I don't plug it in and run it all the time. Overnight, for example, I just let it, I leave it because I don't okay. need it to run but during the, here, during the feel, evening. Feel how heavy this is. I know. It's very... Uh, I can barely hold it up. Right? So there's yeah. there's more than half <clears throat> there's more than half of this left off of a $44, $50, whatever investment. And I've been cooking off that for almost two months, multiple times a week. I don't cook every day, but multiple times a week. Um, <clears throat> and that has never failed me. And if there's a problem with the hose, with the connector, then I just get another one. And those are like 10 or $20. And that's not an issue because I know that I have an ability to cook. But with your, if your batteries run low, what are you gonna do? You can't cook with this Sultan. I'm gonna go to McDonald's. <laughs> right? I can still have this stove and still have a few of these on hand. And I could run that uh, electric unit occasionally. The problem is I don't wanna wait 15 minutes for my water to boil. I mean, I can go to McDonald's and come back with cups of coffee. <coughs> I can phone Uber and get a coffee faster than this thing. Oh, Uber's coming to Vancouver soon. No, but Uber would come to almost any place. Um, <coughs> Uber what, Eats or whatever it's called. Yeah, they're. Uh, so what do you do with these when they're done? Because you can't throw them in the garbage. That's what I do. I throw them in the garbage. Right, you're not supposed to. I you're put supposed them beside to... the garbage and let them figure out how to how to. But uh, the, the thing with those is that you're, you're supposed to... Um, Recycle it. Well, to, there's, there's certain places that you're supposed to bring it to, not just any recycle bin. Yeah. Because there's still compressed. That's right. Stuff yeah. in there, right? So, <clears throat> with the refillable, oh, with the refillable one, I don't have to worry about that. And I had one with me when I went into the states, and I actually brought it to a propane store, like AAA Propane or whatever it was called, and I just gave it away. <clears throat> if you don't need it anymore, right? But you're not. Um, just like you, you might go through 10 in a year, but that's 10 times. <laughs> this is one pound, 
That is 20 pounds. This is $8 and that's like $30 or something. Yeah, it's, it's like 20 times as much. This, that is $160 if I bought them in green bottles. So <clears throat> I am all for cooking off of solar and <clears throat> um, electricity, but it's not practical unless you have a really large battery bank and also a really large um, solar uh, intake. You know? And maybe a larger inverter. They may make these kind of systems that run, like this is an 1800 watt unit. And if 1800 watts, uh, infrared's supposed to boil, like heat things up faster, according yeah. to what they're saying. Well, it's slow as molasses. I'm, I'm serious, there's no point. I would rather drink cold coffee then wait 15 minutes in the morning to get my coffee. So I, I might keep this thing, but I'm more likely to take it back. And if I take it back, interestingly enough, it's $70 it cost me, and I can buy a 20 gallon tank of propane. 20 pound. 20 pound tank of propane for the same money. So I think I'm gonna take it back and buy the larger bottle. And the reason I never bought the larger bottle was because these were always only seven dollars in other words i didn't want to lay out a whole bunch of money at one time so i think i'm going to go buy a larger bottle my problem is in my mind here is where i'm going to put it in my bus but that i mean i got a big bus so i can find a spot <laughs> <laughs> i just have to throw away some piece of crap that i don't need <laughs> or put it in a room. different spot yeah so i'll find a solution for the bottle but that's going to be uh my solution and since this was going to be an unboxing and kind of a uh, what do you call it uh, a review of this what's it called Sultan. a sultan yeah i'm gonna gonna get it give it a down a thumbs down because it's simply not fast enough it would be really cool for a lot of things but i don't know what that i have that it would ever work for i'm impatient I, propane is fast, quick, and it's done. And it's cheap. Yeah. So we are going to say good night. Say good night. And if you die from say propane, night, you just blow up and die. Uh, just... But if there's a fire <laughs> caused by electricity, oh, no. it's a slow, painful death. Now that you're bringing that up, this has no chance of starting a fire in my bus. No chance whatsoever. So if... well, for a real review, we should test all the possibilities in which it could start a fire. And then if it's true that it doesn't, then we'll turn that to that. Well, I well, don't want to wanna do a test. I don't <laughs> want to burn my bus down testing it out. <laughs> Why don't we test the propane and see if it explodes in your bus? <laughs> that, that, that would actually make it onto that Camo Dave show. Because he only shows people that have buses burning. If I can't them. sell my, my van, then we'll do that. We'll just blow it up. Yeah. Anyway, say goodnight. Wave goodbye. See ya. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little discussion. Uh, it's time to say goodnight. I'm going to leave you with a view of that sunset. <laughs>